We had Gordon McKernan coming through. We got Chris Blair coming through, voice of the Tigers, who's going to be here uh, at 830 this morning. And we heard from Wilson Alexander, who broke the news yesterday that Mason Smith uh, was not going to be eligible for Florida State. It's a perfect day to talk to our guy. It's always a good day to talk to G as he comes through our new studio, one of our first guests here. It's great to see you first and foremost. Good morning. Oh, great to be here. Thanks for having me, Jordy. Absolutely. Uh, a lot to get to. Yeah. Um, obviously, we always want to talk about NIL and some of the things going on there, but one of your uh, NIL players, athletes, representatives, and Mason yep. Smith got the news yesterday that he was going to be missing game one. And uh, I guess from your NIL perspective, your legal perspective, what are we, what are we looking at? Yeah, yeah. Um, certainly want to talk about that, but I have to give a shout out right now to, to Bo White, the man here at <laughs> Click Here Digital. For those of you who don't know him, he's nothing short of a genius. Yeah. And uh, he's been handling my digital media for, gosh, over 10 years. And has, it just created ec- just a growth trajectory that I would never would have expected. Um, and he's desired all over the country. So anybody out there who needs some digital help um, here in Baton Rouge, greater Baton Rouge area, I would certainly look him up because he's, he's, he's something different. I am in advertising yeah. uh, and yeah. have been in sales yeah. of advertising. How uncommon is it for you to keep one representative for yeah. a decade? Right? No, I, I was uh, I got I had a little midlife crisis. I was stupid for about twelve months one time, and uh, had all these people chirping in my ear because we had grown a lot. Hey, you need to come try this and go try this guy in California and go try this guy there. And um, I wandered in the desert, literally, <laughs> just like in the Bible. Just just didn't no direction. Didn't know what I was doing for about twelve eighteen months. Wow. Watch my watch my uh, my leads. Everything just just fall, and then went begging back, hand in hat to Bo, and Bo was kind enough to say, "Yep, you were you were not smart, young man, but come on back <laughs> home." Back. I did back. it, and I've never looked back. And he's done a great job. And he, I mean, he's he's all over the country. People don't realize the talent. We normally wouldn't have intellectual talent like that here in, in Baton Rouge, but he's been doing it a long time, and he's a good friend, and I'm fortunate uh, that he as a partner i've been working for him and with him for yeah. six weeks yeah. and it's the best university yeah, it is. i'm telling you it's great <laughs> it's, it's incredible but yeah to your to your mason comment yeah so i was in i was in meetings all day yesterday mm-hmm. and uh, i got a text from from uh from um what you call him? um scott no the uh reporter uh oh, wilson yeah wilson i'm sorry yeah. and uh, i was like can't i'm in a meeting right now he said tell me what's, what's the deal with mason i'm like which mason and uh i was like, oh so couldn't answer but i saw the article it took me several hours and it was like basically you know mason suspended for some sort of dealings right. you know and i was like well it doesn't mention me but it doesn't not mention me right and so i'm like hey call him wilson right away wilson this, this has nothing to do with me man i don't want people out there thinking that i've done something to create this infraction because sure. it was before yeah. he was here it was a freshman it was a signing it was something with the older players as well and uh, okay, I thought that's what I thought, but I, I was trying to get to you. I, I just wanted to make sure. I said, "Yo, well, please put that out there." So um, it's an unfortunate incident. Um, you know, there's a lot of conspiracy theorists out there. Well, this was Alabama. Uh-huh. Certainly, it wouldn't be happening on <laughs> the true. on the first game of the year against another top ranked opponent. And you know, it doesn't seem like the NCAA likes to treat LSU uh, the same as it does maybe some of those other darlings, right? right. Um, so it doesn't seem fair that. It, player of that talent for this game that they would finally exercise that now you you wear many hats and very talented but from a legal perspective obviously that's your background yeah how, how do you how do you view the ncaa and the way that well they are? The, people think that they're like a legal entity they're really not right. right so they don't have legal authority over you right um they can't subpoena me they can't they have no jurisdictional thing like that right it's all relegated to playing in their in their uh environment or playing within their context so they've got an ncaa game so they have the authority to say well look we agreed to this and there was there was some back and forth between the ncaa and mason's reps for a period of time and he was hurt so he was not able to serve it last year but you, you certainly would think that there was some sort of agreement that could have be had where maybe he serves it the fourth game of this year or something right um, NIL is a space and a term that continues to evolve. Right. Uh, you are at the forefront for absolutely in, in our state from it. What are you seeing on the horizon? What are some of the, the, the new things coming and changes? Well, um, what, I, what I'm really seeing is, is some of those schools that we were worried about mm-hmm. um, with the deep, deep pockets, getting better organized, um, getting better at the game, getting better at recruiting, um, you know, to lose – 
a Colin Simmons, you know, like that. Um, when all indications that he wanted to be here, he was coming here. Um, but the, the other side is just getting better at the game now. Mm. And I think people need to be aware of that. And I do think for the first time we're really hearing the first rumblings that Congress is starting to get interested. It just takes a while for Congress to do anything, right, right. except spend our money. They do that really quickly and really well. Sure. Other than that, <laughs> if they're really going to do something meaningful, it seems to take time. So I do think that's happening. It's just going to take some time. Have you seen a model yet in the collective space? Have you seen anything that you look at from a model that you say, hey, look, we've got to follow this blueprint, or there's something that we can look at and mirror? Well, I mean, we don't have – UT's money, so we can't follow that model, right? That's mm -hmm. just something different. Um, you saw where the Texas A&M, one of the collect collectives collapsed. Uh, the IRS is getting much more harsh mm -hmm. in the treatment of these collectives and what's deductible and what's not. You know, they're going to do these charitable events, and you get to write your dollars for that, and you show up once a year or something. They, that's deemed a, a deductible expense. They're, they're going after that hard, so those are collapsing. Um, if you're going to do it, it's going to have to be some sort of true marketing um, expense for your business or something like that uh, to get the deductibility. Kind of like what uh, I think I think Bayou Traditions here mm -hmm. is is on the right track. I think they stand the best chance of withstanding the scrutiny of of IRS and NCA. Um, I think it's closer to what it was intended to be. What are your expectations for Kim Mulkey in year three? Oh man. <laughs> oh well, um, you know she's she's different, right? <laughs> we all know that if you've spent any time with her, you know. Um, I, I, I hate to put pressure on her, but she puts pressure on herself, and yeah. she doesn't mind that. I think she invites you know. it, right? Oh, she does, yeah. yeah. Well, the number one recruiting class, arguably um, the best coach ever. You know, I know Gino up there at Connecticut's done his deal, but she's just different. Um, I, I, you, you've got to think. Anything short of a Final Four type thing would be a disappointment. Now, mm -hmm. you get some injuries or something like that, you can't control that. And you think about it, last year, she was fortunate. No injuries. No major scandals, no major yeah. you know, suspensions, anything like that. Um, the, this team is, is supremely talented. Talked to Angel just the other day. I was asking her about Haley. Do you, how do you like Haley? You got to, well, we hadn't really a chance. We were on the, on the team together, but we really hadn't bonded. But from everything I know, I love her, and she seems really cool. And um, I think it's going to be a fun, fun season. Haley's a big personality. Yeah. I mean, she big is. Person, yeah, she is. And I think her and Angel be great. Right. Um, I, I know that you are very much aligned and represented and recognized with LSU and NIL, but you've done so much work outside of LSU um, in that space. What is it like kind of playing outside of this market within NIL? How has that gone for you? People often ask me how you choose mm -hmm. players, and I, and I tell them this. I, I look for something that's interesting. Was it an interesting story, adversity in their life? Um, are they playing? Are they interesting on the field or on the court? Right? It's not always mean. Interesting doesn't mean necessarily great. But yeah. You like that? If they're making the plays and they're getting the headlines. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. But it might just be a, a way they play. It might yeah. be something they do. It might be the the kid who's diving on the ground every single time, and you want that type of scrappy attitude. Or it might be a a life adversity that they overcame. Mm -hmm. But anything like that, that's what I'm looking for. And so all of my offices around the state. They're on guard, and they're watching the headlines and the trendings to see, is there anything happening that's bubbling up? If there is, then we go after it and we sign it. But I don't have a, a quota that I want this many from this school. I'm just I'm waiting for that feel-good story that I can align myself with. How has this space helped you, content? I mean, you have become one of the dominant content creators yeah. well within legal, but really kind of in the market. I mean, you're, you're grubbing with G segments and yeah. all of this that you're putting out. How has that... How has that helped you, or what have you seen the benefit yeah, of? Yeah, I, I, I think there's a deeper saturation of the brand, Yeah, right? You, you, pretty much everybody knows the brand <laughs> to some degree, right? A right. thousand billboards and all that stuff across state. But then there, there, there's a, a deeper saturation within it, right? Mm -hmm. and, there, and it saturates to some people that otherwise kind of turn away from it. And now they're going, wow, he's, he's supporting my hometown university. He's trying to give back. He's trying to do some things. Just people recognize, I think, intuitively that every dollar I spend in NIL is probably not as good. If I give my dollar, every dollar I'm spending in NIL to Bo, mm -hmm. right, to drive me more leads and calls and all that, that'd be money better spent, sure. right? But it's not all about everything in return on the dollar. It's also about helping your local university, giving kids a better platform to, to be known and to people to see them. So I think, it's, I think it's done that. A deeper saturation, more people kind of going, okay, he's not such a bad guy. The guy who does all the crazy stuff, you know, he's, he's yeah. giving back. The Barbie billboard is my favorite <laughs> right now. It's awesome. Yeah, um, it's it's funny. Uh, so you're, you're from Baton Rouge. Yep. Scott Woodward's from Baton Rouge. Yeah. There's every time you you hear him talk, he talks alignment. Align. He's, he's 
How have you seen this place aligned? Because it mm -hmm. seems like you are very much aligned with the success of the athletic program right yeah. now. Yeah, well, first of all, as I mentioned about Bo early on, Scott's different, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, arguably the best athletic director in the country. I mean, just see his handprints on the program everywhere. And most people just think of the coaches that mm -hmm. he is he's hired. But Scott came up legislatively, right? He came up working uh, for, for political folks. So he understands where dollars are, right? And that's so important an athletic director, right? He understands, like, we can't compete dollar for dollar with a Texas or an Alabama and some of those things, but I understand how to go get money. I understand yeah. how these outside revenue streams. So there's all these things that people don't talk about that you'll see unfold through the years that's going to um, put LSU in much more stronger financial foundation to compete with everybody that he's doing behind the scenes that, you know, I'm aware of these things and other people are, but that's the first thing. It, it's just so strong from a, I know the state of Louisiana can help LSU in this respect. So he starts angling for that and working that, you know, with the politicians, the governors and the senators and representatives. So that's the first thing. Second thing, obviously, is hiring great, great coaches. And then he has understood NIL from the beginning. I know we were all a little worried that the collective was a little slow, but he had a plan mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's working out. I mean, I think he's he's spectacular. Um, everybody asked me for a hat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm asking for everybody. Can the public get them? And yeah, how the did this work yeah, for you? we, uh, yeah, that was a, a fun little, a fun little ride. Yeah. And as, as I, as I call him, the OG Todd Graves, um, that's a true marketer and true genius, right? Just, right. he really is in so many ways. And when he came up with that idea, you know, I reached out to him, Hey, let's do it again. He goes, no, no, you go do it. Go, go set that record way out there. So he's very generous. Uh, but that was a great time and a great experience if you haven't been to Rocco's. And they're coming down at – they're trying to come down, I think, for the Grambling game. Oh, nice. Um, present the check. The and poor do Grambling all. quarterback. Yeah. Mason Smith's going to be eligible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so they're coming down. But, um, yeah, that was just a wonderful experience. My mar my whole marketing team, there's a big group of them now. They responded because, really, I'm, I get ideas on the fly. I'm flying into – into Omaha and I'm just pecking out ideas. All right, we got to do this. We got to do this. I'm, it just it's going, and they're responding to all my craziness. And uh, this one worked out well. Uh, we ordered the hats. You know, we went through them quickly. We ordered more hats. We went through those. So we're we're gonna have a. We we bought all the ones in the country out with a little rope band like that. Uh -huh. So we're getting more made from China. They're getting put over. But I think um, this baseball season coming into it, we're gonna have a big giveaway with a bunch of these hats. Beautiful. Yeah, it'd be good. Well, if you need a platform to give away, you know yeah, you got one here. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I know you talked about working with Bo and Click here and, and the and the team over here uh, and us for the last ten years. Did you see the the team and and what it means to them to to work with you? I don't I don't know if this surprises uh, you to see everybody yeah, the, here. Well, the, the, his team is uh, always very gracious, and I think yeah. Bo does a great job of of setting a kind of a culture of gratitude. Mm -hmm. um, at least from all the things I've seen of his company through the years and little workshops and things he does and they write they write you thank you letters and stuff right and who does who still writes thank you letters right, right? Uh, although i did a, a little video yesterday taylor makes me do these things and give me three hacks for getting a job with you and one of them was write up right thank you note right uh, but they do those little things really really well and it's not surprising to me that his team is up bright and early and and greeting that's mm. that's emblematic of this of this company well um everybody's hoping you can put your cape on and go get mason smith eligible for game one uh i know that you yeah. can't make miracles and make water into wine but it's great to see you as always yeah, it's good to be here jordy yes space looks great uh thank you very much gordon mckernan uh the g squad we're proud to be a part of it we're here at click here digital's campus where they've been working for him uh, and with him uh for a decade and it's uh obvious uh how he is uh he's been received uh both sides uh it's great to see you thank we'll you be back uh we'll be back with more here on the jordy colada show as always built by r&b builders there you go.